turned into a December piglet. And then I thought to myself, actually, add a January, February, March. <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the year. Anyway, good luck with that competition. Anita Katona is here in the kitchen. She's turning me into a bigger piglet. Um, this is delicious. It's your turkey tikka masala with all the leftovers. It is, and it's completely that. It's the leftovers, so it's that cold, desiccated, loveless turkey <laughs> that appears on the 26th. Yeah. And all we do is we dice it. You can make it with fresh, of course. So you're diced. Is that is that because you... Is that a happy look in the eye? Are you happy? There's a Richter squid, and it always worries me. <laughs> it's made me happy. Oh, isn't that incredible? Mm. Do you know what I love about this? Is It's so, so, so simple. It's 10 minutes, and I love these live cooks because of that. You take your turkey, mm -hmm. you dice it, and you add to it oil. So we want, basically, to moisturise this. Because what I'm going to do is going to put some spice on the turkey to mask that kind of old turkey flavour that you get. I'm not selling this, am I? The sauce. No, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean. It's such a dull bird. Oh, it can't... I... Do you know... I, <laughs> say what you think, Phil. I like you, a turkey. You, this is the first time you've made it really interesting. <laughs> it's like the person that sits next to you at dinner, you think, oh, God, not you. <laughs> <laughs> dull bird. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm adding it's the end of term. <laughs> <laughs> so onto this yes. oil, oil and something called tandoori masala. Mm. Tandoori masala. It is this lovely spice that you can get in any supermarket. Paprika. It's got all kinds in. It's got garlic powder. It's got you know. So it's a powder that's ready made. Ready made. Wallet. Tandoori powder. So there's no such thing as curry powder in the Indian kitchen. We don't have that. That doesn't exist. Tandoori powder, on the other hand, is legit. Ah. So you toss so them good. together, and if you can, there you go. You are going to char, char grill them or grill them. What we want is we want that little bit of uh, smoke to come through. So that is what a tikka masala is. Chicken tikka masala is those tandoor oven-y pieces that taste of charcoal in a rich tomato sauce. Under the grill. Under the grill is great. Anything so that they're just getting that little bit of char on them. The truth is, Holly, you don't have to. You could just plunge that straight into the sauce right. that we're about to make. But I'd be worried about drying it out even more. So how long to char it under the grill? Um, honestly, just until you start seeing Crispy the... Edges. Yeah, because you've got lovely oiled... Um, you've got that oily marinade. So you want yes. it to that catch, bubble. really, don't you? You want it to catch. catch. This okay. is our kind of cooking. You want to mess up a little bit mm. and then you want to mask it in a sauce. So the sauce, remember, every meat curry has that foundation. Onion ginger, mm -hmm. garlic, as much as you can be bothered to chop. You don't have to chop it very finely. So just vegetable oil, onion, ginger, garlic, fry it till it's lovely and brown because that's going to bring you the sweet layer of the dish. My mouth's actually watering. <laughs> Into that we do our spices. All meat curries based simply on three spices. Indian cooking is so obscenely easy. Turmeric for an earthy layer, yeah. chilli powder for a bit of background warmth, garam masala, a good couple of teaspoons, because that is the meat spice. Gosh, this is so good. Waken those up, and the tikka masala spice, the spice that takes you to curry house and, um, and frightens the neighbours, is fenugreek leaf. Mm -hmm. Again, you can get that in any Asian grocer, you can get it in supermarkets. So it's the dried fenugreek leaf. You can use powder. I get asked a lot, actually, whether you can use powder. You can, if you must, but there is a charm and there is more of a, I don't know, more of a fragrance yeah. to fenugreek leaf. And it's dried, so it lasts as long as the powder. Oh, absolutely so right. So it's just so you might yeah. forget the... It's leaf. well worth the investment. Mm -hmm. Now, the basis of a tikka masala sauce is tomato puree. Yeah. Now, remember, this was a dish that Indians, honestly, we don't have tikka masala in India. This was something invented in Glasgow <laughs> in the 1960s when a bus driver allegedly sent back some tikka pieces and said, I want a gravy, but not quite like that. I want a gravy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what the chef did um, is he added a tin of tomato soup and some condensed milk, and that was the birth that of the tikka masala. Wow. So Isn't in we go with puree, and... I want to season with a little bit of salt, which is what we do in India, but also a bit of sugar. This is a sweet dish. And we add to that water. And you end up with this kind of, well, something that doesn't look too great, this kind of mess of a sauce. You're going to bubble that through. Mm -hmm. And this is where it gets quite interesting. When you blitz that sauce, it's already quite pretty, actually, you get this. Oh, then you, so you put all of that in a blitzer? All of that. With a hand one blender. of the reindeer, by the way. One of these <laughs> under here. I've not plugged it in because I'm wearing green velvet, yeah? yeah. OK, so just blitz, blitz, blitz. Blitz it, blitz it. You get this and into that. So that is your sauce done. Into it, we add a few finishing flares. Because it's Christmas, any leftover cranberries are gorgeous in this. A bit of cranberry sauce. So about a teaspoon of cranberry sauce to add a bit of piquancy, a bit of sweet. 
and creme fraiche finishes that off. But then into that, all I'm going to do is toss my meat. And because that meat's already cooked, honestly, it's pr it, that's pretty much live time. Do you know what? It? You normally think of like, you think tiki, tiki masala, you think, well, it's a bit of a naughty food. I shouldn't really eat too much of it because it's not so good for me. But I can't think of anything you've put in there yeah. that isn't really fresh and healthy and good for you. Holly, you make such a good point. Honestly, this is why I've dedicated my life to talking about curry. Mm. Because there is no food colouring here, there is no cream, there yeah. is no ghee. It is so, so light and healthy. So I do mean it when I say, you know, this is a sauce that you could make and you could freeze. And into it you could add pretty much, let me bring it over there, you could add pretty much any of your leftovers. There's no reason why you can't be putting the Brussels sprouts in there. Um, you know, any of the leftover veg along with the turkey. That sauce would go be. on anything, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? It would go on your face, quite frankly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You'd put it on your legs, wouldn't you? <laughs> it is Christmas. <laughs> it is Christmas. Oh, this is so nice to see. This is my last cut before Christmas as well, so I won't see you again until the new year. So hopefully you will have had a go at this. What and are you cooking Christmas Day? So Christmas Day, I have to have a gammon. I yeah. have to have a gammon with honey and juniper berries. That's what yeah. I do. And then a massive turkey. And I have my turkey just the other side of pink. Do oh. you? Just so that it frightens the horses a little bit. Yeah. Really? I like my mother to turn her nose. My mother likes it desiccated. So I have it. And that's the secret. And you do that so that it keeps it... It keeps it moist. It, you know, a good free-range turkey just the other side of pink is how you... That would frighten me. It would frighten you. Oh, Philip, please try it. Get a di It's got to so be a good bird. undercut the turkey. Slightly undercut the turkey. And then you get I the mean, whole turkey to God, yourself. Boxing Day, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> going to be in the loo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. I'd like to try your version of that. I'm not sure I'd trust myself to cook it like that. I'd panic. No, the, the turkey, no. Yeah. You stick to the tikka masala. Get it I will be all over this. Crumble Listen, it into a tikka it. masala. <laughs> um, this is thank absolutely you. Thank you so amazing. much. And Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas as well. Lots of Love. Thank you. See you. <laughs> right, the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free This Morning app.